Only two minutes had gone by in the third quarter when Aaron Gordon's new reality dawned on him. The Nuggets had flipped the court on a Hawks miss, and Jamal Murray took off for an easy layup. As Denver's lead ballooned, the Hawks called a timeout to stem the momentum. Gordon walked off the court pumping his fist while settling, seamlessly, into his new home. The Nuggets cruised Sunday night, crushing Atlanta, 126-102, in Gordon's debut. In 20 minutes, Gordon finished with 13 points on 6 of 9 shooting, including two dunks off feeds from Nikola Jokic. I thought for the first game, with a new team, going through a couple of walkthrough sessions, I thought he was terrific, Nuggets coach Michael Malone said. Quote ellipsis. Watching him tonight, his IQ, his ability to play without the ball, his movement, his cutting, his athleticism. He's just such a versatile weapon. Now 28 to 18 on the season, the seeds for a dangerous postseason contender were planted Sunday night. Denver takes on Philadelphia on Tuesday. Jokic flirted with another triple-double, ultimately finishing with 16 points, 10 rebounds and 8 assists. He was one of six Nuggets to finish in double figures, Murray, 17, Michael Porter Jr., 15, Will Barton, 12, Yarmichael Green, 20, and Gordon being the others. With 32 assists, the Nuggets played a beautiful brand of unselfish basketball that embodied what Denver's front office envisioned when trading for Gordon. That his debut came against the Hawks, a traditionally bouncy team with big men like John Collins and Clint Capela, was only fitting. At times, Gordon held his own defensively against Collins, Trey Young and three-point marksman Kevin Huerta. Denver's offense continued to sizzle in the third quarter. Jokic found Gordon for an easy dunk to start, and the floodgates were opened. Murray got hot from the mid-range, then Jokic stretched Atlanta's defense with a three-pointer. Porter sprinkled in two makes to join the party as well. Denver's 32-point third quarter hinted at their offensive potential even though the Nuggets shot under 50% in the period. Heading into the fourth, the Nuggets had a comfortable 97-79 lead. At least Sunday, the Nuggets' two incoming big men left JaVale McGee out of the regular rotation, which left Paul Millsap and Yarmichael Green as the reserve frontcourt. It worked, as the Nuggets pounded the Hawks on the glass, 49-31, and dominated the paint points, 50-30. Malone said the team used the last two days to acclimate newcomers Gordon and McGee, but acknowledged most of the chemistry would have to be built during games. Just going through introducing them to terminology, philosophy of our offense, our defense, Malone said. Yesterday walking them through some of the plays, defensive coverages, and then this morning, a little bit more of the same but a little bit more pace. It's not going to happen overnight. We have 27 games to go, he said.